everyone! I cannot believe it is the end of June already. I have no clue where this month has gone. It has just disappeared, flown out the window, and I just, I looked at the calendar the other day and I was shocked. I'm like, just, where did it go? What happened to it? Which means we are definitely getting into the full swing of summer right now. And it's time for another favorites video. So I have a bunch of things that I've been using a ton this month that I wanted to share with you. Some you've probably seen before, some you probably haven't seen in a while. So I'm just going to get to it and get started. First up, I love smelling good. Some of my favorite scents are florals, fruit, um... Anything that smells like it came out of the kitchen, I love food and baking smells. But unfortunately, most of those tend to be suited more towards winter. But I have found a few um, more summery scents that I love, and one of them comes in lotion form. And that is the Oahu Coconut Sunset from Bath and Body Works. I also have the um, the body spray, which I showed in my um, Summer Essentials video. But I love Bath and Body Works lotion. It is creamy and it's very light. I like that it's light and it absorbs quickly. So this smells absolutely amazing and I've only used about this much so far because I tend to rotate between a lot of lotions but I love this one. It smells absolutely amazing. It smells like an afternoon on the beach with suntan lotion and just happy. So um, I think you can still get this at Bath and Body Works. I'm not sure. I haven't been there in a while. I don't know if they've switched over to a different seasonal line yet or not. But um, yeah, absolutely love this. Smells amazing. Um, up next is another Bath and Body Works product. And this I'm 99% sure you can't get anymore because it's a spring scent. But that is the Lilac Blossom Candle. Um, this is amazing. I love Lilac Blossoms. Um, when I was about 13, 14, we had a little tiny house and there was a huge lilac bush in the back. Every spring it smelled amazing. And lilac is still one of my very favorite scents and it's one of my husband's very favorite scents as well which is awesome. Anyway, this makes my house smell amazing. It smells fresh and flowery and just all kinds of happy. I also, by the way, love the way their candles burn. See how that is completely flat? Yankee Candles do not do that. Yankee Candles tunnel, which means it leaves all the wax up around the sides. I've stopped buying Yankee Candles because they all tunnel and I have to like wrap them with tin foil Make sure there's no fans on. I have to like baby the candles to keep them from tunneling. A candle that does that um, doesn't smell as good because it doesn't have a full pull of wax. But all the Bath and Body Works candles burn like perfectly, so I love them. Anyway, before I get further on that rant, um, next up is a scarf I got. Isn't this? Gorgeous. I love this scarf. It it looks more of a pure blue in the camera, but it is very much a teal shade. And it is an Ivanka Trump scarf. I found this at, I want to say Marshalls, either Marshalls or TG Maxx for like $30 and it's normally $70. And it's 100% silk. It's super, super soft and it's lightweight which is awesome because I love wearing scarves. Um, I wore this in a previous video as well. And it's very, very lightweight, so I can wear it when it's like 60, 70 degrees out and it doesn't overheat me, which is fantastic. It's also the kind of scarf that you can wear around your neck, around your head, or throw on your bag, so it's very, very versatile. Up next is a foundation. Um, this is my Revlon Photo Ready Foundation in 003 Shell. 
this foundation I was like obsessed with when I first started my channel, so you guys probably saw it a lot. Um, it's definitely more of a summer foundation than a winter foundation though because it has, um, it's very, very dewy and it has a little bit of sparkle in it, like, um, like a shimmer to it, I guess would be the best way to explain it. And um, I'm like almost, I have, a, I have a tiny, tiny bit left. That's why the cap so loose, because I actually pop the cap off with the butter knife so that I can get down to and use up the rest of it. I think this is amazing if you have dehydrated skin or skin, or you really like a very, very dewy, glowy finish to your skin. Um, it's about a medium coverage, but um, I've been trying to use this up. I don't know if I'll grab a new one or not because there are so many other foundations I want to try out there, but I have been using this one a ton. Up next is eye drops. I've been trying these out. These are the Roto Cool Eye Drops. Um, my eyes get incredibly, incredibly red because I do wear contacts, clear ones, and I, um, I'm in front of the computer constantly. I'm probably in front of my computer 6 to 8 to 10 to 12 depending on what I'm doing that day, hours a day. My eyes get very very red. These actually have menthol in them so I heard they were very very cooling and refreshing and they are. They're awesome. Um, it took my eyes a while to adjust to them to where it didn't feel like my eyes are burning when I put them in. But now that I'm used to them, it's very cooling, very refreshing. It helps with the red so, so much. They have a bunch of different varieties that you can get some with an astringent if you have allergies. They have ones that have um, a different main ingredient in them. Um, but these are cool ones. These are like the least burny out of all of them, or at least they're supposed to be. But um, I also love that the ball is very small very compact and it has a teensy teensy detail dropper so it's very very easy to get the drops where you need them to go it's very streamlined and I think I like this a lot better than the Visine that I was using previously so I've been using these a ton um, I have two nail polishes that are favorites this month I keep going back to one is my OPI nail polish in Where Did Susie's Mango? And this was a part of their spring neons? Spring? Neons? Brights? Brazil! Yes, this was a part of their spring Brazil collection. I love this orange. I'm actually wearing it right now. It's just beautiful. It's bright and sunny. It looks good on your fingers and your toes. And it just, it screams summer to me. And I've been also been using my Essie Nail Polish in To Taboo, which is from their Summer Neons collection. This is pretty much an exact dupe for the, um, the color of the year, which is Radiant Orchid. This is the closest I've found to Radiant Orchid in a nail polish. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is it goes on sheer and it chips horribly. Even with my Sachet V on top, this stuff chips. I don't know what it is about the formula, but the formula is kind of crap, to be honest. And I'm not the only person who thought that. If you look up other reviews, a lot of people have not liked the formula of this. But I'm going to keep using it just because the color is really good. But I, I won't repurchase anything from the Summer Neons collection because the formula stinks. But... It's a pretty color and I've been wearing it a lot. I just have to, you know, replace it every two days. I have two more favorites. Both are um, lipsticks. One is my NYX Butter Lipstick. This is the shade Sweetheart. I'm also wearing this right now. This is a very, very bright, creamy pink. I love the formulation of this. It doesn't settle my lines. It's incredible incredibly moisturizing. It doesn't wear for a super long time. You get maybe, if you're not eating or drinking, maybe two hours of wear out of this, but it is really, really beautiful. And um, I've also been wearing it a ton because bright pinks are great for summer. And so, 
are peaches. This is the Revlon Just Bits and Kissable Balm Stain in Charm. It's a very light peachy tone. Um, this is not opaque at all. It is very, um, very, very sheer with a little bit of um, shimmer to it. One thing I don't like about this is it will go in the lines of your lips. And if your lips are dry at all, it will cling to the patches. But if you can get past that, it's a very, very soft wash of a peachy, glowy tone. And it can look really, really pretty if you're doing like a minimal makeup day or you're doing like a super bright um, winged cat liner like bold eye look and want, I know that's very, very descriptive, and want a very soft, delicate, feminine lip to go with it, this is awesome for that. Those are all of my favorites for June. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, go on ahead and leave those down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I would love it if you haven't yet, if you'd subscribe to my channel. You can also keep up with me on joannabrooks.net and on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. I am pretty much everywhere, and all the links for that are down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.